lift up your two hands and shout the loudest hallelujah is there any sick among you then call together the elders of the church and let them anoint him with oil the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up I declare today everyone calls sick whether terminal or on terminal the loudest amen that infirmity shall be come to here today for I sent them forth and gave them bodies of oil and they anointed everyone that was sick and healed them all for when the enemy shall come like a flood the spirit of God shall raise up his hand against him for it shall come to pass in that day that the body shall be taken from off thy shoulder and the yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing the loudest amen both the yoke and the yoker both the yoke and the yoker everything making life miserable for you everything that they have attached to you that will let you have rest every stigma over your child every proverb over your family whatever will not let you enjoy the fullness of god's glory scream a violent amen it is here today <laughs> lift your trance if you don't cry out you are not coming out cry out to god i'm set for a visitation today today is my day of restoration I'm come face to face with that great prescription of the great physician. I'm come face to face with that great prescription of the great physician. Visit me today, Lord Jesus. Jesus, the healer is here. Oh, Maria. It's my healing day today. Lift your voice for him. Come on, cry out to him. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no pencil argument. You are God all by. Lift up your voice. 
Michael Walker. Unchangeable changer. My fever. Jesus the healer. Visit the camp today. Ha ha. Ompala na mora ne kataba. Lari amosa katona ma. Edo ma. In Jesus, my pray. Today, everyone calls sick. The loudest amen shall go back home here today. Today, everything you have lost. Restoration means I'm giving you back what you have lost. Restoration means I'm giving you back what you have lost. I decree by heaven's visitation today, lost pregnancy, lost marriages, lost businesses, lost health situations, lost mentality, whatever Satan stole from you. For I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Scream the loudest amen. There shall be total restoration for you. Lord, visit the camp today. Do what you alone can do. Liberate every captive here today. And restore our joy. Restore our testimonies. Restore our breakthroughs. Do what you alone can do. And the loudest amen we vow to give you all the glory. Yeah. If you are set for God's nation, come on, give him a shout. Of Please be seated. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Look at your neighbor on the right and let's tell him today is your day, my brother. Today is your day, my sister. If you are not telling you, tell yourself, today is my day. Yeah. Let me start this, if I enter the message. Presenting to us the mind of God for this hour. We serve God of times and seasons. And we serve a God of visions and revelations. And particularly under an apostolic ministry like this, God never stops speaking. Particularly under an apostolic ministry like this, God never stops showing the way forward by revelation. And I will show you great and mighty things which you know not. And I will show you. I'd like us to just think together very briefly. It's a liberation commission that eight years ago the servant of God said he had an 18 hour vision from God. And at the end, God said, The hour has come to liberate men from all oppression of the devil through the vision of the word of faith. And I'm sending you to undertake this global impact, generational transforming task. Think with me. After such a heavenly visitation, if he just sat down in his house, with his wife, and they are clapping their hands. Let go. Chineke Edema, Chineke Edema, Chineke Edema, Chineke Edema. Look at me, anybody, Chineke Edema. If that's all they were doing from that time till now, will you be here? That's eight years ago. After the commission arose, somebody came to God, something said to him, Arise, and shine like a storm. Let God arise, and his enemies be sat down. And he arose and took the mandate. And from there, the ministry has gone from vision to vision, from revelation to revelation, at every stage, galloping from level to level. And that's why we're here. He arose and took the mandate and ran with the mandate. He said, run with the vision. 
Now somebody time people said, don't stay in the lorry. The next level, go to Kaduna. Don't stay in Kaduna, go to Lagos. Okay, you have impact in Lagos, open more churches. Okay, go to Africa. Mission to Africa. Africa was exploding. Later I said, okay, no, Canaan land. Canaan land was exploding. I said, no, mission to the world. Today we are across the globe. In every continent. And as they say, oh, and everywhere, America, in London, in Australia. Covenant University. Covenant University, 2002. We're celebrating. Ah, Landmark University. We're celebrating. Said, not yet. Won that double visitation. That over and over again, I keep doubling your churches. Is it not happening already? Is it not happening already? Are we partakers together? Are you excited about what God is doing? Put your big, big hands together for the Lord. And the most interesting part was at the beginning of the year. His servant said, God is speaking. 5,000 churches in one year. Ah, 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 I thought the one you started with the 5,000, sorry, five churches was a number of years ago. How can you now 5,000, not 500? I'm sure last Sunday we all heard that 5,000 churches over and over and over have been fully planted. Put your big, big hands together for the Lord. Over and over. Not that they said within the same period, practically, let's put that maybe we fully started in April. Fully. They are preparing January, February, March. Exploded, hit the road April. And between April and now, in Imo State alone, we have planted today 257 churches in Imo State this year alone. Are you clapping? Big, 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 big. I'm not sure you like miracle in this church. So if you are set, I will double the church again. If you are set, I will replicate the cells. Every cell will give back at least one. Like we had a moment ago, since before September 28, 2019. And this church will double before December 1st, 2019. If you are excited about that, make your amen the loudest one. But every vision from heaven speaks loudest at the end. And the to the end, and the to the end, and the to the end. They told that ruler, don't disturb the master again. Your child is dead. Nothing can come again. Dead. Properly dead. Jesus said, only believe. It shall be resurrection. And the child came back to life. At the end, he shall speak. At the end, he shall speak. Whatever you didn't get from January to now, the loudest event between now and Shiloh, he will answer for you and your family. They went round Jericho. Jericho will come down. And they went round and went round six times. The seventh time, they went round seven times. In one day. And after the seventh time, they shouted, Wah! And Jericho was buried. The loudest at the end. We have entered the last few months of this year, between September, October, November, December, somebody's destiny is going to erupt beyond your wildest imagination. Yeah. This church is going to explode beyond our wildest imagination. Yeah. God Sabbath said, the Lord told him, it takes wisdom, therefore. It's the womb of the birth of supernatural church growth. Bible days, from generation to generation, the wiser we get, the more explosive things happen. They that be wise shall shine. A star. So God said, this is the wisdom for the hour. Tell every member of the church, go and befriend your neighbor from now. Many are around you that have needs. Where you are living, where you are working. What does that? Many have called you, called you, they have needs. 
Befriend your neighbor and bring him to Jesus, the meter of meat. Befriend your neighbor and bring him to the healer. I can't forget the day that man walked into the office and shaking and panting. His child is dead. I said, dead? No! Dead for a while. The child is back to life to me. No one here will bury our children this year. They will bury you this year. I said premature death in your family is caused this year. So let's look out for our relations, our friends, our schoolmates, our colleagues, our business partners, and every co-traders. And dive after them and bring them to the master. This Sunday, next Sunday, the following Sunday, for the next seven weeks, starting from tomorrow, every living winner is on this assignment of hunting for brand new souls. Hunting for those that need to be helped. And we are going after them passionately to bring them to the master. The squad who have been inaugurated and started work fully was sent to us, presented to us the meeting times. I'd like us to know your level's changing. So starting from tomorrow, we are resuming full blast. Our full time of prayers, revival time, six to seven, covenant of prayer, eight to ten, twelve to one, five to six. We are running the next seven weeks, fire for fire. Fire for fire. Within seven weeks, somebody like that Chinese bamboo, we go from four feet tall to 90 feet tall. The loudest amen has an instant miracle here today. Where you're sitting, lift up your two hands and say, Lord, I'm committing myself to this new operation. Befriend your neighbor. I receive help from you. I'm hunting for my neighbors, for my schoolmates, for my colleagues, for my friends, my business partners. I'm bringing them to Jesus. I'm not letting go. Let Yama lift up your voice. If you could do 5,000 churches in one year, you can double this church before December 1st. You can double ourselves before September 28th. And I'm playing my part. Lift up your voice. And I know you're going to reward me. And I know you're going to change my story. Lift your voice and pray with passion. Lift your two hands. Don't let God catch you saying nothing. Let him catch you with your hands lifted up and your voice going to him. Calling for help. Calling for grace. Calling for intervention. Lord, I'm committing myself. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. The Lord has said receive grace here this morning. I said the Lord has said amen receive help here this morning. The Lord has said amen receive help this morning. Is there no bomb in Gilead? I'm taking part 3A of that message. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Let me start by saying that everyone that had Jesus preach went back home perfectly whole, perfectly healed instantly. Everyone that had Jesus preach always went back home perfectly healed perfectly whole instantly totally healed luke chapter 5 17 luke 5 17 there was that starting day the pharisees and the doctors of the law were sitting and bible said jesus was there teaching and preaching and the power of god was present to heal as you are hearing me now the lord has said healing we answer for you In Luke chapter 6, verse 17 to 19, Bible tells us they came. Great multitudes from all over Judea and Jerusalem. From sea to hear him. They came to hear him teach and to be healed. So what you hear is what answers to you. You are hearing the healing word here. A lot of the healing anointing we answer for you. Make that amen the loudest one if you are going back home blessed. They came to hear. Not just headache. Bible says, and they were vexed with plenty of unclean spirits. All kinds of complicated cases came to hear Jesus. All kinds of devils, movements, internal organs troubled. Due for surgery, due for operation. And everyone was healed. The next. 
as everyone was saying, you are the next. Yeah. The Bible says the next verse, verse 19, it says, and the whole multitude they sought to touch him, and he healed them all. That means the healing ministry of Jesus. The healing ministry of Jesus on the earth covers all manner of sickness and disease. No close case with God. My grace is appearing this morning. I said, cancer is disappearing this morning. That back is disappearing this morning. That blood is disappearing this morning. That ache and pain is disappearing this morning. Whatever will not let you rest, say, Lord, amen, is any right now. And the word of God is the balm in Gilead. The principal balm in Gilead. We have looked at that extensively. God's word is the principal balm in Gilead. In Proverbs chapter 4, 20 22. Proverbs 4, 20 22. Bible tells us every encounter with his word is the encounter with healing. Attend to my words, give ear to my saints. Attend to my words, give ear to my saints. As the word enters you, hear me answer. Let them depart from your eyes, keep them in the midst of your hearts. And then read verse 20 with me very loud. One to go for their life to all their flesh. To them that find them and help to all their flesh. Say loud, amen. You are going back from here. Dominating sickness and disease. I say you are going back from here. Dominating sickness and disease. When the light of God's word enters you, every darkness bows. In Isaiah chapter 15, verse 8, it says, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy hell spring forth speedily. And the glory of the Lord shall be your reward. When light enters, there's a spring in forth. That's why we can dare to say to everyone that believes here, before we can dare to say, he said, look upon Zion, the city of the solemnness. Thy eyes shall see Jerusalem a quiet habitation. Say amen. A tabernacle shall not be taken down. Nothing shall be taken down in your health again. And no one, not one stake there shall be removed. No one here shall have any organs taken out of you anymore. Neither shall the cords be broken. I'm not hearing you, amen. amen. But look at verse 24, 24. And you're going to read with me one to go. Verse 24. And the inhabitants shall not say what? Stop there. From today, stretch your hands here. It will never be said in your family again. Amen. I am sick. Amen. It will never be said among your children again, I am sick. Amen. You will never be said in your destiny again, I am sick. Amen. If you believe that words came the loudest, amen, you are going back home perfectly. Amen. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16, Jeremiah 30, verse 16 is a word of prophecy for everyone here this morning. Read that scripture very loud. One to go. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All thine adversaries and every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Say amen. And all that pray they shall be given for a prayer. Yeah. I declare the loudest amen. All that are set to devour shall be devoured now. Yeah. All your adversity shall be shattered today. Yeah. Whatever will not let you rest in your health, say me Lord, amen, is judged here today. Yeah. God's word is the principal balm in gear. But also, another vital balm in Gilead. Is the mystery of the anointing oil. The mystery of the anointing oil. So we're going to partake of that mystery today. And everything that won't let your health stay on top shall be ended today. Now, understanding your rights to total health. Let's look at that briefly. Understanding your rights to total health. Two quick things. Every believer must know that you have become a lively stone immune against all manner of sickness and disease. You have become a lively stone immune against all sickness and disease and friends do stones get sick? Do stones get sick? Is there a stone in your command that gets sick? Stones never get sick. Stones never get ache. 
Stones never get pain. In First Peter chapter two verse five, First Peter chapter two verse five, First Peter chapter five say, "Ye are also are lively stones, built up by a spiritual house." Say with me, "I'm a lively stone." Don't be afraid. Say, "I'm a lively stone." Is that your Bible saying, "Lord, I'm a lively stone"? Everything about my life. Say it louder. Everything about my life is stone. All my organs are stone. My kid is stone. My liver is stone. Hello? My brain is stone. Eh? My blood stem is stone. As long as your vessel carries the consciousness of being a lively stone, no attack can torment you. There's a guarantee, therefore, that till Jesus comes, all your internal organs shall remain perfect. No matter what wants to attack it, it shall meet a stone there. I'm not, hear, I'm not hearing an email from somebody. It says, like Jesus, you are lively stones. What cannot torment you cannot torment you. What cannot harass you cannot harass you. Once you know who you are, Sickness will drop here today. You have a stone brain. Stone in the sense that it cannot be, no tumor can attack your brain. You have a stone blood system. No attack of any virus can trouble your blood. You have a stone dimension of liver. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 and verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 and verse 4. He said, I will not let you be ignorant. Of the things that God had available for your fathers under the cloud when they followed Moses. And then verse 4. He said, And they drank of that spiritual drink. And they drank of the spiritual rock, which is Christ. Jesus is a rock. He came as the living stone. He came as the cornerstone. Nothing could bring him down. I declare from today, as the oil touches your head, a loudest amen, you become unseekable. Become untormentable by any devil. Yeah. Whatever wants to slow you down, skip a lot. Amen. It is ending here today. Yeah. See, you see, Jesus, all your organs are intact. Lift your voice and prophesy. My kidney is intact, unseeable. Cannot be to prophesy to all your internal organs. El Kalaba cannot be sick. Stone blood, stone brain, stone liver, stone eyes. Cannot be penetrated by any devil. El Kazotama, Entamania, perfect soundness, perfect health. Iriyanamo Sagataba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that anything that tries to attack you shall be broken in pieces. Anything you fall upon shall be ground to powder. I'm not here in a violent event if you're there. So I prophesy any devil targeting you for premature death. That will let you go to death. Go stand for your sake. Any satanic manipulation that's trying to slow down your health. Skip a violent amen. Return back to the sender. I say return back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. So we are empowered by God. Therefore through his word. To live as sons of God in full manifestation. We're empowered by God through His Word to live as sons of God in full manifestation. We are told in the beginning was the Word, John 1 1, and the Word was God. And that all things were made by Him, verse 3. And verse 4 says, In Him was life. That life was the Son, that life, the Son of God. And then verse 5 says, This light shines in darkness. And no devil can tamper with it. You are going to be anointed shortly. Anything that won't let you rest shall be laid to rest. Yeah. Scream a violent, even like a lively stone, devil shall disappear. Yeah. I said, shake your hand, shake your body, shake your leg like a lively stone. Yeah. See, I'm a lively stone. I cannot be stopped. I'm a lively stone. I cannot be sick. I am a lively stone. I cannot die prematurely. I'm a lively soul. I enjoy perfect soundness in Christ. 
scream a loud amen ache and pain disappears from your body now quickly but what is in the anointing oil what exactly is in the anointing oil this morning if that's the prescription of the great physician what exactly is in the oil number one in the oil is that same spirit of god that rested upon christ while he was on the earth that same spirit of god that rested upon christ while he was on the earth in acts chapter 10 verse 38 Acts 10 verse 38 said, God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all that were of the devil. For God was with him. So the anointing upon his life was a clear out of devils. The anointing upon his life was a termination of oppression. A loud amen, the earth will rest upon you today. Whatever is oppressing you, depressing you, harassing you, a loud amen is caused here today in Jesus' mighty name. You'll be anointed with a blessed anointing oil. Like it came upon them as disciples and apostles. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 11 to 12. Matthew 3, 11 to 12, he said, I baptize you for repentance. But there's one coming mighty here. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes down as fire from heaven. And he has a fan that will push the floor, gather the wheat, and separate them and burn every devil with unquenchable fire. I scream today. Anything that my heavenly father has not planted inside of you, the loudest amen shall be consumed with fire today. Yeah. Two, what's in the oil? Power to heal and to deliver. Power to heal and to deliver. So there's the Spirit of God coming upon everyone here today. And we empower you against sickness and disease. You are going free. I'm not hearing you, amen. amen. Sickness will no longer be mentioned in your life. Amen. As the oil touches you, anything that has been choking your destiny will clear out today. They just carried the oil and anointed that child and death returned back to sender. You are going to go back home with that oil today. Anything then around you shall be resurrected. Yeah. Bible says there. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me as anointed me to pray the gospel of the poor, to heal the sick, the brokenhearted, to pray deliverance to the captives and come your sight to them that are blind. That means the anointing ends brokenheartedness. The anointing enforces deliverance. The anointing said captives free. Everyone, you are going to go back from here with new levels of authority. And I declare the loudest amen. Whatever was tormenting you shall leave you alone finally. Yeah. In Luke chapter 4, verse 38, Luke 4 38 said they were all amazed. I speak among themselves, saying, What a word is a man with authority and power. Luke chapter 4, 36, sorry. Luke 4 36. Luke 4 36. A man with authority and power commanding devils to be anointed today any devil tormenting you is caused today anything that will let you rest is challenged here today whatever devil followed you here shall not go back home with you number three what else in the all is the spirit of the lord that says captives free the spirit of the lord that says captives free every time you carry the all Bible tells us is the Holy Ghost bodily, supernaturally packaged in the bottle. The anointing Lord is the Holy Ghost supernaturally packaged in a bottle. So you pour the oil, the Holy Ghost moves into action. Say loud, amen. In Isaiah, sorry, First Samuel chapter 16, 13. First Samuel 16, 13 said they took the horn of oil and anointed in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward you are going forward say loud amen if you are there amen. say from now the loudest image shall be forever backward never amen. i said the loudest image shall be totally body for someone amen. in the name of jesus christ the starting family in kaduna came back from church with their bottle of oil and put their bottle of oil on the table 
and the men in the house went and cooked their meal with the oil and in that family the man had a terminal disease their daughter had breast had a body had a lump in the breast their son had never walked till he was going old maybe 14 or 15 hadn't walked and then the woman herself had a terminal disease but as they woke up and took that meal bible tells us sorry the testimony tells us they didn't know it was an anointed party they were eating and they went back went to sleep and woke up in the morning the boy that hadn't walked in years ran from his room to meet them in the city room whatever looks like he's dying around you taking so long a lot of image and enjoy supernatural speed and one by one by one every family disappeared what what x-ray cannot see what scan cannot see is x-rayed by the anointed oil the woman had caught it stone in her stomach and she was dying and the oil was out there and dying she said as somebody said let's see what power they says in this oil took the oil took a shot anointed herself and slept she woke up to go eat herself something dropped by the time they checked it it was caught the wall inside her i prophesy whatever has defined solution in your life that has missed the mark till now skip a lot amen shall not go back home with you today <laughs> quickly therefore it's a day of restoration covenant day of restoration in joel chapter 2 verse 25 Chapter 2, verse 25. Bible says, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. Say, Do it, Lord. And can't count the caterpillars, the palmer worm, my great amount have set among you. So God has ordained a day of restoration of all things. I said earlier, to restore means to bring back what you have lost. To restore means to bring back what you have lost. Whatever was not part of you at the beginning, that the devil took from you shall be restored. Say a lot, amen, if you're there. Yeah. Whatever you have lost shall be restored. Yeah. Whatever has failed shall be restored. Yeah. If it cannot be restored, it shall be replaced. Yeah. Somebody's job was taken from him 20 years. He had lost hope. But he kept serving, kept following the law. And suddenly one day, after a restoration day like this, he went back, they sent for him. And gave him back his job and paid him for 20 years. That means answering for 20 years without working. Stretch your hands here, I declare from today. Any devil sitting on what belongs to you, God will sit there one by one in Jesus' mighty name. Everywhere they have found that it shall not be well with you. The troubler will trouble them. They will have no rest until they give back to you what they are taking. Within the next seven days, I decree total restoration for you. Total restoration for your family. Total restoration on your job. Total restoration on your health. Scream alone, amen, it's just now. Access to restoration. Quickly, three things. One, recognition. One, recognition. Everyone must recognize that supernatural restoration is God's end time agenda. Supernatural restoration is God's end time agenda. I will restore to you. Joel chapter 2, 23 to 27 in the last days. Recognize that in the end times, God said, I will do great things for you. Joel chapter 2, 21. I'll do big glad, I'll do Joel chapter 2. Read that scripture. One, two, go, the Lord is. Fear not. O Lord. Be glad and rejoice. The loudest amen today, God will do great things for you. I say, Lord, that amen. The next seven days, God shall do great things for you. And then from 23 down, he began to number them. Be glad and rejoice. The former, the latter, shall come to you this month. Say amen. And after that, you'll be surprised. The flood shall be full of weeks. The fast shall overflow with wine and oil. I'm not hearing an amen from somebody. 
and I will restore to you years that the locusts have eaten. The cucumber and the caterpillars, the pama and the great army among you. You have wasted so long waiting for this marriage matter. I declare suddenly, between now and Shiloh, you will meet the man that shall miracle marriage for you. Waves of restoration as God's end time program. In Joel chapter 3, sorry, Jeremiah chapter 30, 17 to 21. Jeremiah 30, 17 to 21. God is speaking deliberately. He said, I will restore health to you. Stretch your hands here. I declare your health is restored from today. I will heal your wounds here, the Lord. Receive healing now in the name of Jesus. Wherever they have called you an outcast because of that infirmity, where they have rejected you, you are getting back. I decree sevenfold restoration for somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two thing that opens you up to restoration is revelation. One, recognition. God can do anything. He can restore. Two, revelation. How? By revelation. If you can see, then you can have it. He says, this, when light shines, darkness cannot comprehend it. Friends, no matter what the devil has stolen, God says there will be multiple restoration for you. In Proverbs chapter 6, 30 and 31, Proverbs 3, 30 and 31, Proverbs 6, 30 and 31, he said if a man, man is despised, man, men do not despise a thief, if he steals to satisfy his soul, or read verse 31, one to go, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold, and increase the substance of his house, stretch your hands here, Whatever they, they have stolen from your family, I decree by today's anointing, sevenfold restoration we answer for you. In Isaiah chapter 30, verse sorry, 60, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 3. Revelation. It says, And I shine, light has come, that shall be you. And the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. I said, That shall be you. Amen. Behold, darkness shall cover the earth. Gross darkness the people. But the Lord, amen, the Lord shall be risen upon you. Yeah. His glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah. And then read verse 3, the loudest you can want to go. <laughs> if that's your testimony, this week, all that I've rejected you shall look for you. Yeah. Now verse 15. Verse 15. I was showing us there that there is manifold restoration for you for whatever you have lost. Read very loud. Once you go, where else? No man went through thee, but from now. Am I sure I have believers here this morning? Scream the loudest amen money for restoration. We answer for you. Where they are forsaken you, they will celebrate you. Yeah. And make you an eternal excellency. Yeah. And a joy to many generations. Yeah. The Lord's amen shall not miss your part from now. Yeah. And then verse 22, conclusion, one to go. Ready for speedy restoration, jump on your feet and make your amen the Lord is well. <laughs> Lift up your two and turn that scripture to your prophecy this morning. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall become a strong nation. I will hasten my word to performance. Lift your voice and prophesy. Eriana, where they have rejected me, now I know it can be changed. We are there forbidden me. Now I know it can be altered. Life can still be better. Destiny can still open up for me. It's not over yet. It's not ended yet. Lift your voices. Maria Musa. Lift your voices and react this morning. Lift your voices. Begin to torment your tormentors. Lift your voices. Begin to intimidate your attackers. Lift your voices. There's power available here this morning to destroy every yoke of sickness and disease. There's power available here to have total restoration of all that they have taken from you. 
in business, in finances, in your health. Akazuna and Toma by recognition and by revelation. Ariana Musa, El Katava, and Obala Namura Kazata Balada Buraka Zatuna Mania. Lift your voice. What you don't want, you don't accept it, react. What you don't want, you don't accept it, react. Ah, ah, and to Malania Burakazatabaya. Same Lord, I'm ready for supernatural restoration this morning. I'm set for supernatural restoration this morning. I'm set for supernatural restoration this morning. Barianama. El Katuna, Mato Balana, Al Kazazuna, you have lost exams, you have lost your grade in school, you have lost your position in the office, you have lost your status in the family, you have lost your organs, you have lost dignity as a married woman, you have been messed up as a mature single, you have been embarrassed. Lord, restore my joy. Lord, restore my peace. Lord, change my story. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The loudest amen, instant restoration we ask for somebody here. Quickly, John 10 10. The thief come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you may have life. Have it more abundantly. You under the sound of my voice today, you have suffered two things. You have been battered on all sides, but you want a change today that you may have life, have it more abundantly. A true surrender to Jesus is the beginning of the miracle. Come unto me, all that live on heaven, I will give you rest wherever you are. If you are not born again, you suffer again. Surrender to Jesus, poverty will die. Sickness will die. Shame will leave you alone. Lift your right hand. You want to say, Jesus, I surrender. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Lift up your right hand. I'm tired of all the mockery. I want a change. Lift your right hand high. God bless you. I want an exchange today. I don't want to struggle again. Jesus, save me. Lift up your right hand. If your hands are lifted up, just come to the front here. The choir will sing. I'll pray with you and your story will change. Pick up your bag and Bible and rush out here this morning. Enough is enough. Wherever you are, pick your bag and Bible and rush out here this morning. Today is your day for a change. Or you are saved before you lost your salvation. Rush out here and just to get your life. your life to Jesus before and you lost it you can have your joy recovered now join them quickly you want to rededicate your life forget your neighbor except the man be born again he cannot enter the kingdom of God you need to rededicate your life join them quickly today is your day of salvation join them you need to have restoration join them also those that are here for the very first time on a Sunday morning would like to pray for you specially remain standing and the rest of us be seated it's your first time on a Sunday. Remain standing. God bless you. God bless you. Understanding. Pick your bag and Bible and rush out to the front here. We'll quite like to pray for you as the choir sing. I'm free. Me. 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 Me
wonderful family you are not going back empty and dead in the name of jesus whatever answers he has a blessing shall be your portion in jesus name but before i pray bow your heads and check yourself if you are not sure you are saved you didn't come out before but now you are before the lord you want to connect to jesus you want to surrender your life lift up your right and let me pray for you first you want to surrender your life you are not sure you are saved and you want to dedicate your life to him lift your right hand god bless you if your hands are lifted up please Open your eyes and join them on this side. All those who stand are lifted up, join them on the right. I want to pray for you. All those on the right, lift your right hand to Jesus. And say after me, say, Lord Jesus. Say very loud, say, Lord Jesus. I come to you this morning to surrender my life. Save me. Make me your child. From today, I decide. And I declare, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Take my life. Turn to a miracle. I will serve you forever with all my heart, with all my soul, and with all my strength. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. Open your eyes. Congratulations. Whatever trouble you saw before you came here, you said no more again forever. In the name of Jesus. So the pastors will attend to you and you'll be anointed. No sickness shall go back home with you. Follow them this way. The Lord bless All those that are here for the first time. I'd like to encourage you. You are coming here for God opens new chapters in the lives of men. Now you have come. No matter your age, God will open a new chapter for you. Your levels shall begin to change from today. In the name of Jesus. Bow your heads and ask for something special. Ask for something unusual. I've come to the winner's family. Lord, do something new in my life. I want a miracle. I want a testimony. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, do new things in the lives of your people. They have come here for the first time. The Lord, amen. Give them a first time miracle. Give them a first time testimony. Let every good thing they are looking for, a Lord, amen, be sorted out for them in the name of Jesus. I call you blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Say a loud amen. God bless you. You are welcome. Today you have come as a visitor. Come again next Sunday. Next Sunday, you see our covenant day of settlement. God will set to your gates. Come with a friend and a neighbor. In a moment, the pastors will come and they will anoint you specially. Follow these pastors here. They will attend to you. Have give you welcome packages and you shall be anointed. Everybody rest for the anointing. Jump on your feet and let your amen be the loudest. Set up your bottles of oil and say with me, I am a living stone. I'm a lively stone. No devil can tamper with my health. As I'm anointed today, no more sickness, no more disease. In the name of Jesus, as I'm anointed today, everything contrary. Pastors can move. I've touched it. Everything contrary to perfect soundness is shattered here today. Say, Lord, I shattered here today. Say that I say shattered here today. Scheme say shattered here today. <laughs> Heavenly Father, put a little of the oil in your palm. Put a little of the oil in your palm and say, Heavenly Father, as I'm anointed today, everything that you have not planted in my life, let it be uprooted today. For it shall come to pass. 
that the burden shall be taken from off my shoulder and the yoke from off my neck and the yoke shall be destroyed look at the oil in your palm and say lord this is the power of god against sickness against disease against wickedness against long time attack whatever has been tormenting me whatever has been harassing me whatever has been destroying my insight as this oil touches my head scream the loudest be destroyed be destroyed every foul spirit against my perfect soundness as this oil touches my head you are cursed you are cursed you are cursed never again for Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power and he healed every oppression of the devil today I am anointed oppression is cursed depression is cursed manipulation is us a loudest amen you are totally delivered now over your head begin to prophesy Larry Amosha Pakazotama Luria Amosha Miriam Asogatama Seria Amosha Gatona Beri Amosha Gatalama Pakazotama Luria Gashagaba Seria Amosha Gatama in jesus mighty name we are praying put a little of the oil in your cup listen friends whatever we sort out your inside must go inside so he said the holy ghost will come he has a fire in his hand he has fire he will go inside of you gather the junk and burn them with fire lift it up like this as this oil enters you as you take this shot every growth dries up yeah. every dead organ jacks back to life yeah. every satanic manipulation is caused yeah. be free in the name of jesus yeah. instant healings as he enters you yeah. if you are receiving with the loudest amen there's instant miracles for you today Send it into your system, you are free. Lift up your bottle of oil. He said, fear not, be glad I will do great things. You are going forth with this road of restoration. Everywhere you drop the oil, whatever is lost shall be recovered. I decree sevenfold restoration for you. I decree hundredfold restoration for you. I give money for restoration for you. Yeah. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Cover the bottle. Stretch your hands here and I decree now. Anything that will let you rest is laid to rest. Yeah. Every cancer is caused. Yeah. Every ache and pain is caused. Yeah. Every disease be free in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Whatever is the work of the wicked in your life it ends right now yeah. you will not see that devil anymore yeah. you will not see that sickness anymore yeah. you will not see that reproach anymore yeah. if you are said to be free scheme and on him yeah. cover your bottle check yourself move your body shake your body turn and speak completely healed if you are free now shout it out amen Everyone Jesus healed, they came back to give him thanks. Check yourself. Once you are free, jump out here. Once you are healed, jump out here. Once you are rejoicing, jump out here. Oppression, depression gone, jump out here. And as we are celebrating, God shall be perfected the healing. In Jesus' name, let's sing. And then you, everyone that has been healed, he healed them all.
Just rush out here and let's rejoice with you. Let's celebrate. She overturns my life around. She overturns my life around. It makes a way. to do it and he's doing it already here are the sweet testimonies their names and what happened praise the lord sister florence heal of pains on the left for pains on the left he had an accident about six years ago but today the pain is totally gone can we give jesus a day? is that god your god six years pain disappeared just like that Scream in land, amen. Whatever followed you here, you are going back home totally here. Yeah. Okori Jaffer. Pain in the lower abdomen since last year. Come on. Heal via the anointing. Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Are you clapping for Jesus? Favor. On a normal heel of chest pain, the pain started this morning. If that God is your God, let your amen be the loudest one. Amen. Lift up your two hands, give God thanks for what He has done for us this morning. If He had His one, six years gone, infirmity gone, He has healed another pain one year gone, chest pain of today gone. He has done everything that he said to do. Give him thanks and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Remember, operation, befriend your neighbor has started. 
from tomorrow we are running for jesus and getting soul after soul to jesus as you are doing that god will multiply testimonies in your direction prayers are resumed in full from tomorrow prayers at six prayers at eight twelve and at five pm all the testimonies that have been shared we declare them permanent in the name of jesus christ everyone that has received your own a loud amen it shall stay with you in the name of jesus get back to your sins god bless you don't go back home with your offerings drop them on your way out and the god of restoration will answer for you pick up your copies of the expressing god in action is sent forth to be a blessing and between now and next sunday it will answer for you for a testimony also our book for the week is the healing balm everybody get your copy and dive into it the anointing oil is another balm in Gilead that makes things happen for you lift your two hands go in peace seven days restoration will answer for you the loudest amen seven days transformation